Today, I'll be showing you how to do your crypto taxes if you have the Poloniex wallet. Hello and welcome to another wallet integration video. Today, I'll be talking about the Poloniex wallet and how to specifically do your crypto taxes with the help of Coinly. So I'll jump into a little bit of information about the wallet itself. Then I'll talk about the integration, which is really straightforward for this one. And then I'll um, show you how to get the necessary tax documentation, depending on which part of the world you're from. And then lastly, if you have any questions, I'll leave some links where you can go and learn more about crypto taxes. And you can also talk to uh, members of our community as well as our staff. But without further ado, let's jump into today's video. So this wallet was founded in 2015 and it's based out of Delaware, USA. It is currently a top 20 exchange by trading volume. They have over 200 spot trading pairs and 25 different margin trading pairs. They also have more advanced features like perpetual swap, um, swap contracts, which I don't really know how many of you are going to be using that with up to 100 um, X leverage um, on Poloniex futures, as well as interest on lending over 10 different kinds of cryptocurrencies. Okay, so that is enough about the exchange. Let's show you how to actually integrate. So first and foremost, you're gonna sign into Coinly, head over to the wallet section. We're gonna click add wallet, and then we're gonna find um, the Poloniex wallet. We're gonna click this. We have two different options today. We have the CSV file route, which I will show you secondary. And then we also have the API route, which I will show you right now. So let's click set up auto sync. And first you'll notice um, this little message pop up airdrops and forks are not returned by the API upload your um, special adjustment CSV file. So this is actually now called the distributions CSV file. I'll show you that later from Poloniex into this wallet. So I'll, I'll show you where to get that a bit later. Um, let's show you where to find the API key and the API secret. So we're here on their website in the top right corner, you'll see a little profile thing pop up. So from there, we're going to go to more settings. And then we're going to find the the uh, API keys, which is here from this top menu. And the website's a little bit slower, but it's okay. So here, um, we're going to click create new key. So they're going to send you an email in, in which you have to confirm that you actually do in fact want to create a new key. Okay, so once you've you know confirmed in that email that you do want to create a key, this menu will pop up. And here we have the API key and the API secret. But first, we want to click, um, we want to disable uh, trading. We Coinly is not interested in moving any of your funds or touching any of that. So um, this will only be a read um, only API key. So nothing to worry about there. So let's take this key and let's paste it back into Coinly. And then let's take the secret, which is really long and paste it into Coinly and then click secure import. Okay, so that was step one. You can use this route or you can use the um, CSV file route, which now I will show you. So from the same menu where we left off, we're gonna go to the top right corner. We're gonna click activity. And from here, we're gonna click export and we're gonna have several different options. So going back into what we said earlier about airdrops and forks, the file that you're looking for actually that you will need is called the distributions file. So make sure to export that, but you're going to need all of these files if you're doing all of these activities. So deposits and withdrawals is obviously something everyone's going to be doing. So you're going to definitely need those files, things like margin borrowing and lending. If you're not doing those, you might not require those files, but um, you have six different options. If you're doing all of them, get all six files. If you're not, if you only have selective things that you're doing here, then you might not need all of these. Select a time frame that's appropriate for your needs. So for most people, it's going to be a tax year and then download each of these files individually. So as you can see on the screen before me are all the files um, that I just showed you. Now it depends which things you're using. Um, make sure to just drag and drop these individually. Click import until you've imported all your different kinds of transactions. Okay, so once you've imported all your transactions, if you go back to the wallet section here, you'll get um, uh, all the transactions shown and some of the currencies that you're dealing with. So once all our transactions have been imported, you can head over to the tax reports area here. You'll get a nice summary of your capital gains, your transactions, your you know expenses, all that. And this is a great area to just kind of keep track of your crypto activity throughout the year to kind of see where your crypto taxes are going to be. So at the very bottom, you're going to select a tax plan that is appropriate for your country. And we have plenty of different tax plans, uh, as you can see on the screen before you. So for the US, we have the IRS Schedule B form 8949. Um, you could also export TurboTax desktop and online versions. 
Um, we have for the UK, the HMRC capital gain summary. We have reports for Sweden, Norway, France, Switzerland, Australia. And then lastly, um, Canada, Germany, and other, and other countries, we have the complete tax report, which is a document you can also give to an accountant, which they can combine with other tax documentation to submit. And uh, you know, if you don't want to go down that route, you can also invite them to Coinly to set up their accountancy firm with us. We're still working on more content for that, so stay tuned. And then lastly, what I always mention, probably the most important part, is check your country's rules and regulations because this tax report, this plan um, from Coinly might be deductible. But that brings us to the conclusion of this video. Um, if you have any questions, we have a few different resources, which I will leave links for down below. So starting off with the Coinly Help Center, we have countless articles. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about crypto taxes, um, then we have the forum section where you can talk to members of our community as well as our staff. And then lastly, we have a contact section where you can send us a message or an email and we'd be happy to get back to you. But if you found this video helpful in any way, consider dropping a like, subscribe for more crypto content, and I'll see you next time. Peace.